We're here at the IBEW NECA Technical Institute in ALSOP, where the union electricians of tomorrow are learning the latest advances in sustainable projects like solar. One such project is currently under construction at Advocate South Suburban Hospital in Hazelcrest. They're using solar panels to help power a facility where saving lives is a top priority. The sprawling Advocate South Suburban Medical Campus in Hazelcrest boasts a high-tech hospital and buildings housing the latest advanced medical equipment. But this hospital is different than most, as construction has begun on a solar field, which will help power the hospital for years to come. 1,400 solar panels, when complete, will account for up to 700 kilowatt hours of yearly electrical usage. Bigger picture, um, Advocate Aurora has a goal to be 100% renewable electricity by 2030. So it ties directly back to the health of our patients and our populations. So a healthier environment from renewable electricity leads to healthier patients, healthier population. With that goal in mind, Advocate's Director of Facility Operations, Austin Rennick states, when fully operational, this solar array will provide 5% of the hospital's electricity. To help make this energy saving project a possibility, portions of the construction were funded through Illinois' Solar for All project. The Illinois Solar for All program provides funding to help bring down the, the cost and the impact to the installation of the solar array. It's directly targeted at communities that are considered low income or environmental justice communities. To execute this ambitious plan, Advocate hired RJL Group of Oak Lawn, a signatory women-owned electrical contractor with an assist from Peeper Construction out of Wisconsin. The crew from Peeper will be tying in the DC power into inverters. The inverters will go to the main disconnect at the plant. From there, disconnects down to the main gear. As the shutoff, it'll tie into the where the ComEd comes into the main switch gear. The perfect partnership of Peeper and RJL Group reveals the solar expertise of the unionized electrical industry. Three years exclusively, I've you know, been doing nothing but solar. So a lot of those projects, we've gone up to about six megawatts on a single installation. There are obvious reasons for a project like this, decreasing the hospital's carbon footprint and removing some of the electrical demand from the community grid, which will drive down costs. It would definitely put a little dent in their energy cost, for sure, and supplement whatever maybe an emergency need, because they could use the suns here all the time, can feed a battery system, and they'd have battery backup for specific things that they want to power. Here's how Illinois Solar for All works. Advocate South Suburban Hospital buys power directly from the developer at a 60% discount for 10 years. The developer then sees a 25 to 30% federal rebate we purchase the energy from the developer. The developer then owns it. Now, the I mentioned that earlier, the requirement is that they sell that energy to us at a discount from what we pay Commonwealth Edison or what we pay our supplier. So they are providing us that energy at about a 60% discount. For general contractors, this new emphasis on solar means making sure their union electricians are properly trained for a whole new segment of business. I think, I mean, this is a really cool, a new technology, obviously, that's coming out, that's becoming a big part of the market. It's always interesting to learn new systems, new technologies. So you may be wondering, how efficient will solar be in a place like Chicago that has long, cold, dark winters? So we figure about 10% loss, which a lot of people would figure, hey, it's gonna get buried underneath the snow, I'm gonna lose production altogether. It's not the case. Even if it's under about six inches of snow, you're still gonna get production out of it because you can't turn the sun off. So outside of functioning at night, that array is gonna produce as often as it can. For all the key stakeholders, watching this come to fruition brings them great joy. And with another 1,400 solar panels soon to be installed right next to this array, Advocate South Suburban will eventually be running on 10% solar. But for Austin, that's not the most important part. The renewable energy piece, the, the electricity, the savings, that's all great. The fact that so far we've made all of this construction work, we've had all this activity with no impact to ambulance traffic, no impact to patient traffic, no complaints from patients or visitors or doctors, it is the biggest win I'd say for us.